What's up, everybody? Welcome to week one of the NFL season and the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Brandon Gadula, managing editor at numberfire.com, and I'm going to be talking about my three favorite stacks for the week one main slate on FanDuel. My top stack of the week is going to be Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins, a stack that will total 16,600 of our FanDuel salary for the opening week. The Cardinals start off the season with elite game for Daily Fantasy. It's my favorite overall game of the week. They travel to play the Titans in a game with a 52 and a half point over under a tight three point spread that does favor the Titans and should kind of get uh, Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins a little bit less uh, popularity as a result of being a slight underdog. But Kyler Murray is one of the most lethal rushing quarterbacks that we have in the NFL. Rushing is just a, a cheat code for, for fantasy football upside. Last season, Murray averaged 30 Fanduel points per game before getting injured and having things uh, kind of slow down the second half of the season. And DeAndre Hopkins just due for huge touchdown regression after scoring just six times despite more than 1,400 receiving yards. He should have been around 8, 9, 10, depending on the, the method that you use there. So my favorite stack this week is going to be Kyler and DeAndre Hopkins. My second favorite stack is actually coming from that same game, just the other side uh, of that Titans uh uh, Cardinals game. So it's going to be Ryan Tannehill and AJ Brown. Uh, AJ Brown's going to cost us $7,800 to roster on FanDuel. And we also have Julio Jones that we could pivot to uh, if Brown is somehow uh, un un unhealthy uh, for week one. Julio Jones is 7,000. We've seen a huge on field shift in the Falcons' offensive efficiency historically whenever Julio Jones is on the field. So we should basically just have the arrow way up on the Titans, especially with their new offensive coordinator that could shift things into a bit of a higher frequency passing offense. Again, AJ Brown did sit out practice on Wednesday. So keep an eye out there. But again, we just pivot to Julio Jones, uh, save $800 in salary and we're good to go. Uh, but Brown finished second in NFL yards uh, in, in the NFL and yards per route run, according to next gen stats last year, trailing only Devonte Adams posted an, uh, an average depth of target of 11.4 yards, which was roughly a yard down, uh, farther downfield than the NFL average. Uh, but Ryan Tannehill also has that rushing upside. So a uh, gate great, uh, Great game environment for this week. And so for me, uh, this is the second stack that I'm, I'm looking to build around for week one. Down at a lower salary, I will be going with Joe Burrow at $7,200 and T. Higgins at $6,000 uh, for the Bengals against the Vikings. Uh, this game is in Cincinnati. So, um, and I think this game has more appeal than, than most people might think at first glance. The total uh, down to 47 and a half, the spread three and a, uh, th down from three and a half to three. Uh, Joe Burrow did play to opponent expectation overall last year. If you adjust his efficiency, Minnesota 16th in uh, secondary rank, according to pro football focus entering 2021. Uh, but you know, we know that the volume is there and if you're not going to run a ton, which Burrow won't, he'll have some rushing. We need that volume uh, from a quarterback. And then for T Higgins, he's a high average depth of target receiver. He's playing at home, uh, only 6,000 on FanDuel. His a dot last year was 12.1 yards downfield. Uh, led the Bengals in air yard share in his full games. I know Jamar Chase is there, but Chase is off to a slow start. Uh, so this should lead to T. Higgins being the wide receiver one for this week. And this will save us a lot of salary in a game that could be a little bit sneaky. That'll do it for my favorite week one NFL stacks. Best of luck this week.